Welcome to our deep dive session where we unravel the chilling story of Randy Kraft. Today, we will journey through his life and explore the terrifying path he walked. Born in 1945 in Long Beach, California, Kraft was the fourth of five children. From the start, Kraft seemed a model child, intelligent, polite, and introverted. He was a star student with a high IQ, who seemed destined for greatness. Kraft's teenage years were a time of self-discovery. He realized his homosexuality, something that was largely frowned upon in the 1960s. This was a crucial turning point in Randy's life, as he grappled with his identity amidst societal disapproval. Be sure to subscribe for more true crime stories. After high school, Kraft joined the U.S. Air Force. His intelligence didn't go unnoticed, and he was given a job in electronics. However, his time in the military was cut short when his sexual orientation was discovered, leading to his discharge. Kraft then attended college, where he studied economics. He was a brilliant student, making the dean's list. His life seemed to be back on track, but the years ahead would take a dark turn. In the late 1960s, Kraft began to spiral. His longtime partner left him, and he fell into a cycle of heavy drinking. This period marked the beginning of a sinister change in Kraft, leading him down a horrifying path. The 1970s saw the emergence of Kraft's murderous alter ego. Young men started disappearing, only to be found later brutally murdered. These crimes were gruesome, leaving communities in fear, and police baffled. Kraft's modus operandi was chilling. He would drug his victims, torture them, and then strangle them. But what made his crimes even more horrifying was the coded list he kept, a catalog of his victims. The 70s turned into the 80s, and Kraft's reign of terror continued. His body count kept growing, with law enforcement struggling to pin the crimes on him. His intelligence and cunning made him a formidable adversary. It was only in 1983 that Kraft was finally caught. Police found damning evidence in his car, including photographs and the infamous list. His reign of terror had finally come to an end. Kraft's trial was one of the longest and most expensive in Orange County history. He was convicted of 16 murders, but his coded list suggested many more victims. However, without concrete evidence, these cases remain unsolved. In 1989, Randy Kraft was sentenced to death. For the families of his victims, it was a small measure of justice. However, with Kraft maintaining his innocence and the shadow of his potential victims, closure was hard to find. Today, Kraft sits on death row, a chilling reminder of the evil that can lurk beneath a polished exterior. His story serves as a stark warning of the predators that can exist within our communities, hidden in plain sight. As we conclude, we remember the victims of Randy Kraft. Their lives were brutally cut short, their potential never realized. We tell their stories, and through remembering, we strive to ensure that such horrors are never repeated.